Welcome back to the guided learning series. In this session, we're going to go over the introduction to SharePoint integrations. So in many cases, our product, Power Apps, will be integrated into a solution that you might already know how to use. And in this case, we're talking about SharePoint. So I'm going to show you how we've integrated Power Apps into the um, SharePoint user interface so that you can use it to build apps directly from your pages on SharePoint. You can also embed Power Apps on the pages in SharePoint as well. So there's lots of opportunity to use Power Apps very closely linked with SharePoint as well as with Teamsite. So let's get started. I'm going to start by just going to one of the lists that I have here on my SharePoint site. I have a list called Change Orders. And basically, the first thing I did was build this list. And I built this list just using common SharePoint functionalities, such as the ability to add a new column here in the modern user experience, or in the old-fashioned way that we used to do it, we would go into list settings and we would just create the different columns that we wanted. So in this case, I've created a few columns in addition to the default title column. So because this is change orders, my business experience in this case is to be able to collect all the change requests coming in on a construction project, whether they be a, a, an impact to the schedule, which means there are some days that will be changing on the schedule, or whether it's an impact of cost, where there will be an increase in the amount needed to complete the project. So this list will be used to collect those change orders. But then I will be creating uh, a custom form for this list as well. And that's where Power Apps will come in. So if you notice right above the list, you'll see the new dropdowns for Flow and for Power Apps. We're going to focus today on customized forms. Now, if you're going to use this to create an app, it's not like it's a big difference, and everything else we've talked about in guided learning also applies to when you create an app, because an app is, is an app. But in this series, we're going to focus on customized forms. And what the forms do is give you the ability to integrate a custom list item form in your SharePoint list. And it will live right there, and it will pop right out on the panel like any other SharePoint form. So just to remind you about that, so I'm going to click in front of the list record item, the first one, and I'm going to click the edit button. When I click the edit button, the standard SharePoint form comes up. Now, um, we have enabled content types in the advanced settings. So if you don't see that, it's because they aren't enabled in the advanced settings. But other than that, you see the list feels exactly as they were um, created in SharePoint. Now, if instead of clicking Edit, I click the new icon, a panel pops out and shows me the uh, form for someone to fill out so they can go ahead and create a new list item using the new item form. And there's not much difference between the Edit and the new item form in the default settings. The biggest difference is the new item form is going to be blank, and they have to fill it out. Now, in addition to that, um, you will notice that you can also click on the title of something in a SharePoint list, and you'll get a view form. A and this form enables you to view the data without actually editing, editing it. Now, if you wanted to edit it in view mode, you sure can. You can click in there and make changes on any particular field, or you can click Edit All to open up that form for complete edits, and that matches your edit form. So we'll talk about why this is important to understand later. But notice at the top of these forms, no matter which form I choose, I get a customize icon. This enables me to use Power Apps to customize my forms. So what I'm going to start by doing is I'm going to go to the Power Apps menu here and choose Customize Forms. Now, when I do this, what's going to happen is it's going to launch me into my Power Apps environment, my default Power Apps environment, where I'm going to be able to edit the form. It's going to build the application for me, which will be, in this case, a single screen form. So this is different from create an app, where you get a three screen model for your new app. In this case, since the goal is just to customize the list form, you will only see one screen. 
So we'll just give this a few minutes to work its magic and then we'll look at that screen that we can customize. Okay, it looks like our screen is opening up. You'll notice that you have a canvas on both sides and you'll notice the rotating dots on the top of the screen. That is, it's making a connection to the list where we began this process. And so right out of the box, you will get the list of the SharePoint site connected as a data connector in this new Power Apps experience. Now, you'll also get a pop-up dialog box that will help you do things, right? And these are typical things, and we may change this over time, but this will be a place where you can get help. For instance, if I click Add or Remove Fields on the form, it will pop out a panel that helps me select the fields that are available from SharePoint so that I can either decide to have them on my form or not. For instance, I actually don't want the created and modified and the created by and modified by on my form. So I can just completely remove those and I'm just gonna leave modified, all right? Now the other thing I noticed on my form is I do have a couple of what I consider uh, large typing fields, like where people will type a lot, description and comments. So I might go ahead and make them multi-line texts in the way they're viewed. And I just do that by clicking the ABC and changing them to multi-line texts. So I will go in here and edit those and make them multi-line text, okay? Now, what you will notice in the form that's created is that it basically defaults to giving you all the fields that are in your SharePoint list that, are, that you see, but you can always remove and add fields. You can also select that form again, that SharePoint form it's called, and pull that panel back out so you can go and make changes again. Like for, for instance, maybe you want the project to be at the top. You could easily just drag and drop these fields around. So basically at this point, the only change I've made is I've put the project at the top and I'll, put, I'll also put a gray uh, background on that project control. Well, not on the text, so let me just make that text black and let me make the fill, the fill value gray. So now you can see I've edited my form. Now I'm gonna go back to SharePoint just by clicking back to SharePoint. It will prompt me to save and publish. So I will click save and publish, and now it will bring me back to my SharePoint site. The app has been closed, and now I'm back in SharePoint. Now let's look and see if our edits work. So if I click on the title, then we're opening that view form, and you'll see that the change is reflected there. It's also going to be reflected if I click here and press edit. You'll see that change. And then finally, you'll see that change when I click new. So the form changes that I have made are fully integrated into SharePoint. I can also share them as a link to someone else. So for instance, the new form link, we very often want to share that with people via email. So I can copy that link and then place it in an email message. Now, when they click on that link, it will open up a page dedicated to that new item. So this is a way you can kind of get people straight to where they have to enter information using that link at the top of the form. So I'm really excited about the opportunities that you have here. And what I'd like to do in the next video is kind of break down some of the things that you might want to do there. But this is a very strong integration between SharePoint and Power Apps that I'm sure you're going to find a lot of value in using. Thank you for coming to this video, and I look forward to the next one with you.